Hello and welcome to Ginger Prime. My name is Brian if you're new around here, but if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being an awesome, incredible, and smashing individual. That's what you get for subscribing, by the way. Free compliments at the start of these videos. Today, we're diving into Lost Ark, both its business model and open beta details, giving you the frequently asked questions that players are wanting to know about what is about to befall everybody here in the West. If you guys had not had the opportunity to play Lost Ark, this should be a game on your radar, but here's the information that you need to know because there's a lot of questions I get about this game and hopefully this helps clear up any kind of confusion, but as always, feel free to ask your questions below. I'll do my best to either answer them there or in follow-up videos here on the channel. Let's go ahead and dive in. Heroes of Arcasia. In our bringing Lost Ark to the West article, which guys, if you haven't seen, uh, top link in the descriptions for my Facebook gaming page, I've been posting Lost Ark lore and other news bits over there exclusively. You can check out the link, go follow the Facebook page if you're up for it. Anyway, I do, I diverge only for a second. Uh, we've shared a high level philosophy and vision for what players in the NA and EU can expect in our version of Lost Ark. Today, we want to share more information on the business model, along with some of the changes and adjustments that we've made. We want Lost Ark to be a fun and fair, so getting the business model right for our players is crucial. Smallgates RPG has made an amazing game, and we aim to honor their original design while increasing the accessibility of the game to new audiences. So let's go over the business model. Lost Ark will be a completely free-to-play game with optional in-game purchases, founder packs, and other bundles released alongside new content. The in-game store features a vast array of cosmetic items for the head-to-toe character customization and convenience items such as auto-looting pets and items that will allow you to access your storage while in the field. Additionally, players will have the access to Mary's Secret Store, offering special rotating deals. Lost Ark has a features a player-to-player -player trading post, and the trading post allows the community to play an active role in the valuation of items that makes the economy within Arcasia highly flexible, letting players trade items as they see fit. Amazon Games has been working with Smoggate RPG to update the business model to more closely align with Western norms and player expectations. So here are a few key adjustments. To ensure all purchased and in-game feel optional, this is important for players to have a path to acquire all items in our game store without ever having to make a purchase. Most of these are available with crystals, which can be earned by trading gold at the player-run exchange and any item without a crystal price will be traded via the in-game trading post. This means that all items will be available for in-game earnable currencies, with a few exceptions such as founder pack and services like name changes. We have updated how pets uh, features function. Originally, players would rent features from their pets each month, and then the pets would gain additional functionality. An epic grade pet will be available for free as a quest reward in the early stages of the game. In our version, pet purchases are permanent and the features that were previously rented are now available through Crystalline Aura benefits. Auto-looting remains a default feature of pets, so regardless of whether or not you have Crystalline Aura active, we've tuned, uh, we, yeah, we've tuned the timing of Mary's Secret Store to make products stay in the store longer periods of time, giving players more time to make purchase decisions. Players will have 72 hours before items rotate out of the Secret Store. And we've reconstructed the premium service of Crystalline Aura to provide a fair and fully optional benefits to avoid potential pay-to-win mechanics and advantages. Examples of these changes include removing increased movement speed and increased combat XP from the Crystalline Aura benefits and adding in some of the PC Cafe benefits like half-price ship tickets and free triport tips or trips. Either way works. You get what I'm trying to say there. So, uh, reading uh, flubs aside, let's look at the currency overview. Like many free-to-play games, Lost Ark features several in-game currencies that serve different purposes. And below is an overview of the in-game currencies in Lost Ark and how they are used. So, you can see Crystal, our Royal Crystals here. This is the only currency purchased with real-world money. And what you can use it for, Royal Crystals can be used to buy crystal packages, cosmetics, and other items in-game. Now, crystals, they are earned by completing certain quests, achievements acquired with royal crystals from the store or acquired with gold from the in-game currency exchange. And these crystals are the main currency used to acquire in-game items, including items from Mary's secret store. Gold is earned by completing certain quests, raids, and exchange for royal crystals through the in-game currency exchange. And gold is used to get consumables, gear, and reinforcing gear 
in the end game. And then finally, you have silver. Earn through most games, progression activities and quests, combat environments and chests, etc. Silver is used to acquire common materials, repair gear, move from content to content or continent to continent and use triports and the purchase of items of in-game vendors. So for the Founders Pack, interested adventurers can pair for their Odyssey by becoming a Founder. Your Founders Pack will equip you with many of the journeys ahead by granting you access to the upcoming closed beta, a three-day head start access to launch, and stuffing your inventory with plenty of exclusive items to aid you on your adventures. You can find the full list of contents, pricing, and information on where to purchase the Founders Pack on the page. And guys, I'd love to know uh, which one you want me to get there's four different options and if you haven't seen those yet um let me know and we can probably do a deep dive into that i haven't personally decided yet i'm kind of between the gold and the platinum so fifty dollars or a hundred dollars um yeah let me know what you guys want me to do i I just looking for your feedback <laughs> we'll go from there all right so looking ahead during the closed beta uh test beginning november 4th and running until november 11th Players will receive 40,000 Royal Crystals when they first log in, but no real money purchases or monetization systems will be active during this time. These Royal Crystals are for closed beta only and will be removed after the beta, along with the items that you get with them. Since these are actively testing and refining the monetization systems in the game during the closed beta, players may see remnants of the original business model or parts of the unfinished systems that are currently being tested. As this is a beta test, we may discover some revisions are necessary and make further changes as a result. So we appreciate your patience and would like to hear your feedback you have on these systems or decisions. Make sure to follow our social media channels over at playalostark.com to stay up to date. And you can see the links obviously here. Also, uh, you can find these articles listed below. But let's go ahead and dive into our second article as well. So now let's go ahead and dive into the closed beta details and the frequently asked questions around the upcoming closed beta. It starts Hero Heroes of Arcasia. As we prepare Lost Ark's launch in early 2022, we're excited to welcome players into the closed beta test. To focus on the closed beta will be technical aspects of the game, such as server stability, tech integrations, and large scale bug testing. You'll also find a host of new content that you can experience to help us test too. So there's no worry to, uh, about an NDA. So feel free to discuss with friends, share, record, broadcast your beta content and your gameplay. The test is going to run on Steam starting November 4th at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, so for our central folks, that's going to be 11 a.m. Uh, Pacific time, November 4th, and closing on November 11th at 9 a.m. Pacific time. The servers in North America and Europe. The start of the closed beta, we're going to be conducting a load test for a few hours. And for those first few hours, every player within the region will be sent a sing uh, to a single world. We want players to understand that there may be different queue times depending on the number of players logging in during the initial load test. And it's intentional uh, part of this testing. And we will be expanding worlds as many players come online after the first few hours of load testing. And is complete to ensure all closed beta participants are able to harp, hop, harp, 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 hop into Arcasia quickly. Thank you for your support and your participation and also for your harping. Uh, if you are interested in helping us test, sign up for the chance now, or you can pre-purchase Lost Ark's Founders Pack to we'll grant early access to the closed beta. Additional testers will be invited from the tester uh, sign-up program and other giveaways. So forums and Amazon games on Discord. Looking for uh, fans to play during the closed beta or interested in providing feedback? For those, that, for those looking to take place and ask questions and leave feedback, you can also check out the articles to be able to get access to the official Amazon Giz, uh, Games Discord and the Lost Ark forms as well. So closed beta updates. Existing fans of Lost Ark and the closed alpha participants can find a comprehensive list of changes between the closed alpha and beta here. Please note that we and that many of these core systems such as localization and monetization are still in progress and will have additional changes between the closed beta and launch. While the team has been working hard on translating Lost Ark into the four languages that we have committed for launch, we may come across instances that the game and the text doesn't quite feel right just yet. Uh, this is because Lost Ark is such a massive game, adding in new content and features that we wanted to be ready for launch and adding a lot of extra last minute work for our localization team. We are committed to continuing to improve and polish the localization up to and after the game launches. So as for the game content, the unique prologue per class has been replaced with one streamlined prologue. Adventures will start at level 10 and progress through the Forgotten Land of Torah after selecting their subclass, and on top of the new story, they will teach the basic controls and battle techniques of Lost Ark. They've increased the level cap from 50 to uh, from the closed alpha to 55. They've increased the expedition level cap from 55 to 100. 
The second Awakening skill cap quest has been added to all classes, and the continent up to Rothendel will be unlocked, including the main story quest, field bosses, and Rothendel's Chaos Dungeons. All dungeon content up to the Phantom Palace will be unlocked. The Abyss Dungeon, the Phantom Palace, Twisted Monarch's Hall, and the Abyss Dungeon, Phantom Palace, Hyden Palace. New Guardian Raids, uh, T2 Chromanium added, uh, Nakrasena, Flame Fox, and uh, Talos has been added. Vernon Chaos Gate has been added, and the Spire uh, Shade Tower, floors 1 to 50, has been added, and this can be accessed via any major city. Cube Dungeons, normal, added, and the very access via the major city, and Farms and Caves. Uh, these can be unlocked by completing Small Island Discovered Uninhabited Island, Stronghold Research Quest uh, unlocking after completion, and the Small Island Within Your Stronghold, which has many gatherable resources, uh, such as Regeneration Daily. We are opening them up 70 islands for closed beta participants to discover and explore, and so you can check out new zones like Gareth and Proxion. And then you also have similar and closed alpha is going to be running an attendance event for the duration of the closed beta. Adventurers will be able to claim various rewards each day that they log in. So general improvements that have been made. They've added the font size adjustments and additional hairstyles within character creation. They've updated the, the guild menu UI and regarding moderation in support for player safety. A new system has been implemented, allowing adventurers to report behavior that is against the code of contact. Uh, they've add, add, added language filtering, as I stutter through that phrase. They added the support to filter out of scene language, such as uh, all supported locales. And a currency exchange, they've been working to improve the UI and the currency exchange, but the currency exchange will be disabled in the closed beta. Update currency exchange will be available at launch. The Power Pass Adventures Path. Given the, the short test period, a Power Pass will be provided to adventurers in the closed beta. And this is to aid in fast travel progression, as well as alt characters that will be used to enjoy the contents of various classes. When the player completes the main quest, Ian's Gift, the North Vern and Single Vern Power Pass token will be provided via in-game mail. Only the Power Pass will be provided per account, and Adventurer's Pass can be uh, started immediately after consuming the Power Pass on an alternate character. This feature compresses the level 10 to 50 segments for the alt character as it is a story told by Beatrice, and it will guide you through the essential and progression specific to your class, allowing you to relive the content through that character. Completing the Adventurer's Path quest chain will equip your character with the gear appropriate for Vern content. And we've made it so that strongholds are unlocked sooner, uh, giving adventurers the ability to have a home and decorate earlier in the journey. Now, regarding new features, the closed beta will include the new striker class. They added colorblind features, voiceover language selection. Note that this will only change the voiceover and not actually affect the text. Text-to-speech accessibility is live and improvements will be made from now to launch. And in order to use and activate uh, the Windows narrator, it will be read in that text of you uh, as you type. They added Room of Growth accessibility after completing the Northern Burn World Quest and the Altar Mage of the Rift feature that allows you to experience and learn functions that Lost Ark has to offer regarding mounts, pets, crafting, engraving, and disassembling and refining. Pro Salon's uh, com uh, compass has been added. Adventurers will find menu accessible through a widget that shows active field bosses, go ghost ships, chaos gates, and the current Adventure Islands. And the Adventure Island added. This is a new feature that directs users to islands that are only accessible during certain times. Once on the island, you'll be given a co-op quest that must face a boss in order to receive a variety of rewards. Custom PvP matches and spectating has also been added. Now for the store, they, are under, uh, under, they understand that one of the big questions among players is monetization. So we just covered that in this video right at the top, but these two articles came out side by side. So just note regarding monetization, all what's happening in the closed beta is in fact not permanent. So any money that you spend uh, is all fake money at this moment. And so they're just using that to test out the store. But you can again, check out this article if you want more detail, or you can watch the start of this video in which we went over it in massive detail. Regarding the frequently asked questions, what region is the closed beta available in? And you can find us in Canada, Mexico, United States, Herod Islands, Finland, Albania, Adoran, Australia, Bosnia, Herzegovina, uh, Bulgaria, Crota, Czech Republic, Denmark, Fairy Islands, uh, Finland, France, Germany, Gibraltar, Greece, Gersny, Holy See, Hungary, Ireland, Iceland, Isle of Man, Italy, Jersey, uh, Kosovo, Latvina, Lishvina, Luxembourg. My wife's laughing. I mean, that's fine. 
Malta, I'm committed to this now. Like I'm fully, I'm, this is staying in the video. Uh, Monte Ganeiro, North Macedonia, Norway, Poland, Portugal. Let's let a dyslexic man read these language, these words. Romania, San Marino, Serbia, Serbia, Solomon, <laughs> Spain, Salford, and Jane Maine and Norway, Sweden, Switzerland, Turkey, and uh, the United Kingdom. I should have said Kingdom. Anyway, we made it. <laughs> what languages is it supported? English, French, Spanish, German, and both text versions of voiceover. How do you access and play the Codes Beta? You have to register or you can um, buy a Founders Pack to get that. Can I talk post-create about the content? Absolutely. And it is encouraged. How do you access the and play the Closed Beta? It's through Steam. So be sure to go and follow it over the Steam support site if you have any questions about that. And since uh, I was in the Closed Technical Alpha, does that mean I'm in the Beta too? No. Alpha players are, does not guarantee access to closed beta. You are guaranteed access to the closed beta and you will receive a Steam key and information on accessing the closed beta. So that is the massive amount of information. If you made it to the end of the video, especially with the, the butchering of all the country names, I'm sorry, but uh, definitely has my wife tickled to all get out. So I hopefully you enjoy that. Sound off in the comments below, say dyslexics untie. I think that would be, uh, that'd be really fitting, I guess, for this video itself. I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being awesome. Love you. Love you faces. Hopefully you have a fantastic day. Hopefully I'll see you next time. But until then, take care. A little off topic, but I just want to say thank you for providing me a friendly, fun, and optimistic community. Baby. Coming from an MMO community filled with toxicity... This is an amazing breath of fresh air. <laughs> Keep it up, baby. Oh, yeah.